And then you got your action figure launcher on the stern, which Captain America needs because he doesn't have any superpowers. I mean, like, what good is he? Wow! <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomai.com and I've got here the big Avengers Shield Helicarrier. But you're not here to see this wimpy thing. You're here to see the super big Avengers Shield Super Helicarrier. So stand by for an Avengers toy review. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Stu, where did you get this big thing? Well, if you were watching my videos, you would have seen from last uh, July at Comic-Con, uh, they had a preview of this and a display with the other Avengers action figures. And at San Diego Comic-Con, many of the major toy manufacturers will make special limited editions of, of some products, sort of as a tribute to the fans, because Comic-Con is about fans of comics and cartoons and popular movies. And so they, they make some of those just as a kind of a tribute and to kind of get people excited. And so that's where I picked this up. I had to carry it out and then get it shipped out by hand. Uh, it's a bigger version. We are not sure if it's really bigger than the other one. We'll, we'll check that out. But you can see there's a lot of special features of this. And even the box it came in is kind of special. Look at this. This is the outer box. See? And, and they put graphics on this too. See, they've got uh, uh, Nick Fury, uh, you know, with the eye patch. The shield super hel helicarrier has landed, you know. And, and then uh, on the other side, is it the same? No. It's not even the same on the other side. It says, it's time to report for duty on the shield helicarrier. Well, I'm ready to report for duty, sir. Giving you a good look at the package, it's by Hasbro. It's got a, a special sticker, San Diego Comic-Con International 2012. And, and then you see that the helicarrier is fully assembled uh, with some nice graphics in the back. And then you look over on this side, it comes with uh, a, one Captain America and a, a Black Widow figure, which uh, that's not included with the standard helicarrier. Marvel Universe, some nice comic art, no doubt provided by uh, Marvel Universe. And then uh, right here in the bow of the ship where you usually have the ship's identification, uh, I don't know if you can see it, it says SDCC 7-12, uh, so that's for San Diego Comic-Con. That's kind of cute. Obviously, it's fully assembled, uh, so I don't know yet, though, if it's really larger than the standard helicarrier. We're going to just have to compare both of them together, okay? And looking at the back of the package, you get this huge graphic. Uh, there's a battle going on. There's Iron Man fighting somebody. Who is this? You guys help me out. And there's Captain America fighting somebody else. And uh, you got some other guys fighting here. Uh, all, you know, a huge graphic of a ship. So, you ready to get this out of the box? All right. Now, looking at your standard shield helicarrier, uh, it's got great graphics on the front uh, with the guys from the Avengers, uh, Captain America figure included. And... Uh, Five launching missiles, it says. Over three feet long. Obviously, you need to put it together because it's it's going to be wider than this box. Two-in-one vehicle and play set. Look at the back, and it's talking about this removable salt pod, which didn't appear in the movie. Uh, rotating crane arm. Uh, figure catapult. Secret weapons locker. Uh, working trap door here. Carries up to 16 figures in the battle. That's if you stand up up on top. And a secret, secret weapons locker. Wow. Okay, well, you ready to get this out and compare it to the Super Helicarrier? All right, well, let's go. Well, this is what you get when you open up the box. Yeah, and as I thought, it comes disassembled. So the final size of this uh, Helicarrier, it's got to be longer than the box. Will it be bigger than the Super Helicarrier? I don't know yet. I'm going to find out. So be, it's going to take me, you know, a couple of weeks to put all these pieces together. Uh, but I'm going to start working on it, and we'll be right back. Well, clearly the Super Helicarrier is pretty much assembled, and this is why FedEx made a ton of money from Comic-Con, because everybody was shipping these home, you know, <laughs> in these boxes. Can you imagine? Yeah, so there, I need to cut the strings off this and put the landing gear on and uh, take out the action figures. And nice is that it's also got the decals uh, already on here, including the special one for Comic-Con. So that's kind of nice. Well, let me uh, get my clippers out here and start cutting these, uh, these ropes. Well, here's a look at the basic helicarrier, uh, all assembled, laid out. From the tip of the forward sensors on the bow to the stern, I get just three feet long, okay? Not much really over three feet. Uh, <clears throat> comes in some... It comes in some directions. Yeah, you may want to hang on to these because 
on the back it's got detailed placements for uh, all of these stickers and there's a lot of stickers uh, I haven't used these stickers because I'm going to give this ship to my son and I let him put the stickers on. It says here, I guess the designator number is 67. Interesting. Laying out the basic features, uh, there's forward sensors, there's a trap door and a bow, uh, there's some weapons lockers, we'll look at those. Uh, there's four engine nacelles with uh, large fan blades that spin. Uh, there's an action figure launcher on the stern. There's a crane, always good to have on an aircraft carrier. Uh, there's a large deck gun that Captain America could ride, as well as what I would call a, a bridge. It has a place for observation that you can go inside uh, and a little protected shelter here. We'll look at these in, uh, in detail. There's also four rocket launchers as well as a large main gun. They all shoot the same ammunition. Here's a look at the two missile launcher positions on the starboard side. And uh, they take these large missiles snap in there easily. And these launchers are fixed in position. They can't move and you're thinking, well, what use is that? But actually, on a ship like this, you're gonna use uh, guided missiles, radar guided missiles, or heat seeking missiles. So really all you need to do is kind of point the launcher uh, in a general arc close to the target. And then once the missile launches, it'll take care of that. And these do launch rather well. There's a button on the bottom if I can find it. There, see, they launch, they're pretty good at launching. The large deck gun has a seat for Captain America to sit in and uh, some kind of engine or power nacelles in the back and a large long barrel. Holds the same ammunition as the other ones and uh, also fires rather well. Yeah, I know this isn't exactly movie accurate, is it? This is kind of divergent from the film. It's something else that's different from the movie. Uh, in the movie, they had the traditional angled deck that you see on modern aircraft carriers. You know, the reason for the angled deck is so that aircraft could land and launch off the front at the same time. And in the movie, the angle deck was raised. So they had like two levels of decks, which is an interesting idea. I wonder if the US Navy is gonna think about that in the future. Uh, but this one does not have an angle deck. So if you're landing, uh, you better stop by here because you'll be bumping into the planes that are launching. The other thing uh, that's sort of similar to the movie, but not exactly is this. I called this the bridge earlier. More appropriately in the Navy, we call this the island. Uh, we do that because like the deck is sort of like flat like the ocean and then this sticks up like an island and this part will have several decks maybe six or eight deck levels uh, it will include a couple of bridges uh, the guys that control the aircraft stay here and the guys that control the ship stay on the island and people like me would be well below decks where we're safe and we're looking at computers and stuff uh, so that's how that works the engine nacelles spin uh, under finger power and what's cool is uh, this one actually does sound a little bit uh, like a turbo fan. Listen, can you hear that? Yeah, the, the other ones don't sound like that. That's the only one. And then you got your action figure launcher on the stern, which Captain America needs because he doesn't have any superpowers. I mean, like what good is he? Wow! Inside the island, there's this thing, Hasbro's calling this a cockpit, and there's just enough room for Captain America to sit. And then you open up a hatch on top, and they're calling this the observer station. Yeah, I would call that the bridge. Yeah, but that's what that, that's what that is. So you got room for two figures inside and one more on the seat at the gunner position. And you can take this island right off if you don't like it. Leave yourself more room for aircraft on the ship. And there's these weapon storage locker. One of them, this one here, is actually big enough to hold your missiles for the ship. And then there's two more small ones that you can just play with, put something else in there. And these are rather uh, accurate to uh, real life. And, and uh, actual aircraft carriers, they bring uh, weapons and other equipment up to the deck of the ship by these large elevators, not necessarily one right here, but they've got huge elevators, big enough for aircraft, and then smaller ones that will bring up pallets of weapons and things right up to the deck of the ship from below. And a little trap door to bow the ship. I don't know, yeah, that's, so you can make a getaway, I guess. And something else this ship has that's rather accurate to real life are these platforms. There's several of these platforms below the deck of the ship, below the main deck. Those are used on real aircraft carriers to get below uh, you could walk down little staircases, and then underneath here there'll be uh, doors to go up into uh, the first deck level right below the uh, main carrier deck. This platform is of interest. Uh, this is near the stern of the ship, 
and this would be the LSO platform. And the LSOs are landing signals officers. Those guys would be watching and grading the planes that are coming in to land and giving them some advice on the radio as they come in and try to tell them to you know, increase power or reduce or something or go around if they're messing it up entirely. Uh, and it's an interesting job for these guys. There's a couple of sensor arrays on the bow of the ship, and then I believe these windows are meant to uh, reproduce the windows that you see in the movie uh, where they're controlling the ship. Uh, Nick Fury's in front there looking out the windows during the battle. Now you turn her over and there's no hull underneath the ship, unfortunately, so it doesn't look real natural from below. You do get a couple of struts here, or what you can call landing gear, that'll stand the ship up nicely for you. Uh, and uh, one interesting thing here is it's signed by Stark Industries. So Tony Stark's company, Stark Industries, built the helicarrier for a uh, shield uh, way back in the 60s. I, I remember when the first one came out. Now, when the first helicarrier came out in the, in the late 60s, uh, it was in uh, Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., Marvel Comics. And uh, that helicarrier had six uh, helicopter, big helicopter blades. Uh, to, to hold the ship up. And uh, I remember that very distinctly. Uh, now uh, they've gone with turbo fans, I guess a little more modern, and only four of them. But I, I hope they're powerful enough to keep the ship stable under all conditions, even say if they lose one or two engines. You want to be able to still keep the, the ship up in the sky, right? So here's the Captain America figure that comes with the standard helicarrier. And it's really a basic figure. It's, it doesn't do a lot. It just bends at the hips, not at the knees and at the shoulders, and you can turn the head a little bit. And there's no shield. How can you have a Captain America without the shield? What's up with that? Let's just, let's just go ahead and compare them. This is the figure that comes with the Super Helicarrier. Now this figure, I, I suspect it's probably been released before by Hasbro in an in a individual pack. I don't know. But this is a nice figure. Look, it's got a lot of details. Oh yeah, get out of here, old. Captain America, this this guy's this guy's got those nice double jointed knees, all right. So he can bend his knees really well and turn. He can turn his feet, bends at the hips, bends at the uh, shoulders and at the elbows, and uh, you can kind of, uh, you just kind of rotate his arms a little bit, and then uh, of course at the at the head, and uh, and you look uh, super helicarrier cap has got the actual wings coming out from his from his uh, cap, you know his his helmet. And, and regular cap, they're kind of just painted on. And the details, the A is nice and bright white. He's got the white star, like he said. This guy's got like a silver star. What's going on there? And Super Helicarrier Cap has got six-pack abs. You know, this guy's looking like he's a little chunky. He's been gaining weight on tour there. Uh, and he's got a, details on his belt, a black belt with a uh, silver belt buckle. Just a, a lot more details on the one, and notice even on the uniform, you've got those little scaly little things. I don't know what those are supposed to be, but uh, those show up better. And also, look, he's got his star on his back, and this guy doesn't even have the star on his back. And beyond that also, you don't get the paint detail on his back of his uniform either. And he's got some kind of fanny pack going on here. I don't know what that is all about. And of course, Super Helicarrier Cap comes with a shield. And you can see that Super Helicarrier Cap, can, he can carry his shield, and it goes on his back as well. And uh, that's pretty nice. And, uh, and that's not all. You get another figure. The second figure you get with the Super Helicarrier is Black Widow. At least that's what this is supposed to be. She's got the black uniform. Uh, I don't believe in either the comics or the movie she didn't have these black, these white boots and the white gun belt and white gloves. But... Uh, Clearly, uh, this is Black Widow. She's got a couple of uh, automatic pistols uh, that can fit in a holster. And she can hold her pistols in her hands, at least one hand. I got one in. The other one, it didn't hold it very well, so I put it back in the holster. You really shouldn't be shooting two pistols at once anyway, unless you're, well, in the movies. Uh, and what is this patch? Is this a shield patch on her shoulder? And uh, other things that aren't quite movie accurate. Uh, in the, of course, in the comics and the movies, she's got red hair. This doesn't really look red to me. It looks kind of brownish. And it doesn't look like Scarlett Johansson, which is, she's a lovely actress. I wish, I don't know. 
Did, did Hasbro release this as a separate figure? You guys help me out in the comments, let me know. There's plenty of articulation on this one though. Wrists, elbows, shoulders, <clears throat> double jointed knees, just like Captain America, and she can, draw, she can uh, flex her ankles. So two nice figures with the Super Helicarrier. Almost makes it worth the shipping cost. So Super Helicarrier. Well, it's essentially uh, starting with the basic Helicarrier and they added a center section and made it much longer. So the last one, the, the original Helicarrier was three feet long. This one from the stern to the center pods in front, it's 46 inches, three feet, 10 inches long. So they added 10 inches to the Helicarrier. Got to be the same width because they're using the same parts for the bow and the stern. Colors are different too, as well as some of the decals. Let's have a close look. At the trap door on the bow, there's this nice decal that says SDCC for San Diego Comic-Con uh, 712, right? 2012, July. And then uh, the original Hello Carrier is numbered 67, and this is numbered 60. I don't really understand or know the importance of that. And so to make the Super Hello Carrier longer, they crafted a center section uh, uh, to fit into the bow and the stern sections of the original helicarrier. And then, so they also uh, added four missile launchers, two on either side. So now you've got two, four, six, eight missile launchers with the super helicarrier. What concerns me though, is that the super helicarrier has still got only four turbofan engines. And even though it's a third larger, and gonna be a third heavier, uh, it's only got the four engines to hold it up. And so I'm a little worried that it's gonna have enough power to stay in flight in case they lose an engine or two. I don't know. The engines still spin just like the original one. All that same stuff. Well, here's a look at them side by side on, on the table. You can see the difference in accent colors on the Super Helicarrier and the size. And, but I've got the makings of a nice little fleet going here with two good Helicarriers. I'm proud of them. So that's my look at the, what? What's that? Enemy spaceships entering the atmosphere? All hands to the transport shuttles. We'll take the helicarrier up to meet them. Come on! Yeah. 